Hey, Sam here, and this is the ASIO Retro Classic Prestige Mechanical Keyboard. Currently, it's on Kickstarter for $150. US It's a full-size mechanical keyboard with a retro design, featuring some premium materials like wood and leather depending on the color variant you choose. It also has signed through keycaps, Bluetooth, and is hot swappable as well. Those are most of the features, and before I show the keyboard, here is what's included in the box. So, there's the warranty card with a message from the company, the quick start guide for the keyboard explaining the functions, how to set it up, and how to hot swap the switches, a piece of microfiber cleaning cloth, a 2-in-1 switch and keycap puller, and a Type A to Type C braided charging cable. For the keyboard, I have the Ebony variant here, which has a gunmetal aluminium frame and a black wood finish on the plate. I think it looks pretty awesome, especially with the plaque here above the arrow keys and the four indicator lights on the top right corner. The keyboard is slightly heavy, around 1.4 kilograms or 3.2 pounds because of the materials and the 4000 mAh battery inside. So, from the top, you can see the 104 keys full size layout with these pretty interesting shine through keycaps. Here is how the side looks there's the aluminium frame, the keycaps, and these two things, which are the height adjustable feet. You can twist the top one to increase the height, as you can see. There's nothing on the front, just the aluminium frame, and on the back, it's pretty clean too. You just get the Bluetooth, USB and on-off switch, Mac and PC toggle switch, and the Type-C port here on the right side. On the bottom, there's four rubber feet that I previously mentioned, and the name and brand of the keyboard in the middle here. Alright, moving on to the keycaps. They are double shot ABS shine through keycaps. They are fully plastic with a rough texture on the top and has a gunmetal design at the edges similar to old typewriter keys. They do look great here on the keyboard and allow the white backlight to shine through nicely. It's not really visible because I'm filming with studio lights but the backlight is pretty bright so you don't have to worry. I also like that the functions are printed onto the keycaps as well for ease of use. For the switches, it's available with the Gatoron G Pro Red, Blue or Brown switches. So it just depends if you prefer a linear, tactile or clicky switch. Here I have the G Pro Browns which are tactile and they are really smooth out of the box because they come loop from the factory. So as you can see, the stem and inner housing has a layer of loop and there's also an LED diffuser on the top housing for better lighting. The PCB here is 5 pin hot swap with a north facing layout. So the LED is on the top as you can see and you can change out the switches easily if you want to. The LED backlight here is just plain white so there's no RGB if you're wondering. The stabilizers here are plate mounted and they come loop too. There's no rattling from the wire because of the loop but the feet here are not clipped so it does wobble just a little. As for the mods included inside, I know that there's some foam and silicone to help dampen the typing sound so here's the typing sound test.
Alright, here are my final thoughts on the keyboard. Personally, I'm not a big fan of the typewriter look on a mechanical keyboard. But overall, I think Ezio did a good job here. The keyboard looks unique and I really appreciate the small details like the plaque, the indicator lights, the screws with the aluminium frame and the textured plate. And with a price of only 150 US dollars for the Kickstarter, I think it's a pretty good keyboard. So if you like how this keyboard looks and you think it will fit your setup, you can check out the Kickstarter link in the description below for the ASIO Retro Classic Prestige Mechanical Keyboard. And that does it for this video, thanks to ASIO for the keyboard and thank you for watching. Leave a like on the video if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't and remember to subscribe if you haven't. See you in the next one.